My Three Sons. Starring Fred McMurray. And his bub, William Frawley. attention that the children are playing a game that has several elements of danger in it. I inquired of my own child who has herself been injured several times and I'm sure you're all familiar with it. They call it softball. Madam now, Chairman. The object of the... I haven't finished my thought, Mr. O'Casey. <laughs> okay, Madam Chairman. <laughs> now, in this game of softball, the object seems to be to throw the ball at the legs of a running child. And, of course, it usually results in the child falling to the pavement. I move we petition the principal to exclude softball from the children's playground activities. Second the motion. Madam Chairman. <sighs> Mr. O'Casey wishes to speak. Thank you. <laughs> Madam Chairman, Madam Secretary, fellow members, I, uh, I think it's a little stupid to give up a good, healthy old game like softball uh, just because of a couple of uh, clumsy kids. <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute, ladies, wait a minute. What I meant is that uh, I've got three grandsons, and one of them in this school right now, and they all gave up uh, softball because they heard it was a sissy game. Question. Yes, what it is it? It has been moved and seconded that we petition the principal to exclude softball from the children's playground. What are activity. you sending to this school? A bunch of cream puffs? All those in favor now, please raise your right hand. Oh, Matthew. wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's kick this thing around a little more. Mr. O'Casey, you are in contempt of the chair. That is so true. <laughs> but let us stick to one subject at a time. Just a minute, please. Now, what's going on here? Where's Bob? Uh, he called me up, told me to put the dinner on. Oh, where is he? He's still at a committee meeting down at Chip School. Dad, guess what I found? It's Anita Steele. My gosh, you can't turn it down. It's something that... Why should a committee meeting last this late? I don't know. He said something about an argument over sock ball. 47, strip down, do five. He's got to the stay there for jumped. a while and straighten it out. Oh. Carl Joy Dad, has one. He wants it all the time. His dad says it's the best... Is this all we're going to have for dinner? House. Potatoes? Oh, no, I was going to make some toast. Oh, good. You know, I'm not exactly a gourmet. Proverbs 3, 1, my son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. Two, for length of days, and long life, and peace, shall they add to thee. Three, let not mercy and truth forsake thee, bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart. For so shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. 6. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. 7. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. 8. It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. 9. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thine increase. 10 So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. 11 My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord neither be weary of his correction. 12 For whom the Lord loveth he correcteth even as a father the son in whom he delighteth. 13 Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. 14 For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. 15 She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. 16 Length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor. 17 Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. 18 She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. 19 The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth by understanding hath he established the heavens. 20 By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. 21 My son, 
let not them depart from thine eyes, keep sound wisdom and discretion, 22 so shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck, 23 then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble, 24 when thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid, yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet, 25 be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked, when it cometh, 26 for the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken, 27 withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it, 28 say not unto thy neighbor, go, and come again, and tomorrow I will give when thou hast it by thee, 29 devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwelleth securely by thee, 30 strive not with a man without cause, if he have done thee no harm, 31 envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways, 32 for the froward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous, 33 the curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just, 34 surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly, 35 the wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools, 